Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to another video. And today we're going to be doing a line of sight flight for this new ultralight build. This is sort of a custom 5 inch tooth fairy. The motors are the T Motor F20. They are 1408, 2800 kV. We'll get to the props in just a second. For the 4 in 1 ESC flight controller and VTX, it's the XJ or HGLRC. Um, XJB F428 sort of fly tower in there. I have a Foxier Micro Aero Pro up front. And for the battery, it's just a Bonka 4S 75C 850 milliamp hour battery. <clears throat> and the all up flying weight of this guy, as it is here with the battery, is just about 260 grams. Now, for the props, these are the Racecraft 5038 um, triple, or double crane style DCS, I guess. I'm really kind of disappointing that I had to use these props because I'm not a fan of them. They just kind of really suck for power but they are pretty much the easiest five inch prop to spin so i've done a couple different testings with the t5051 c cyclone um the hq 5x4.3 v1s and the hq 5050 dual blade and so far these definitely are the best prop even though i didn't want to use them so i'm going to use them <laughs> so let's just get this guy Welcome to powered up here all right there you go. And I do have my min throttle set at about 6% on the D-Shot idle. <clears throat> so I do apologize for the lighting. It is kind of dark out. However, it's about to storm for a few hours. And this will be my last chance to film for a week. So I'll have to get it in. So hopefully right, right away, you can hopefully tell it's pretty quiet. Um, dual blades are kind of loud. Actually, the uh, T5051C, the Cyclone. The thin tri-blade, that thing was deathly quiet. So it's way louder on these props. Especially when you get up into higher throttle ranges. So hopefully you can see it's actually cruising around pretty decent speed to a full throttle pass. So there we go. Little top end oscillation. I do have dynamic filtering in Betaflight 3.2 on, as well as I left the notch filters on. I turned those off and actually smoked the motor, so I turned it back on, swapped the motor, and it's been doing all right so far. So overall, the performance is just kind of lacking. Here's the um, throttle chop punches. See, it's definitely very floaty. Um, but the bottom and top end of the motors is just really not there. They're just such a small motor for a five inch prop. They're not bad in the mid end, hopefully. You can tell, and it definitely does change direction very, very quickly. And it's not that bad of a flyer. 20 seconds. Definitely a very interesting flying experience. I'm go up into some higher rates. I did guess the tune on here, but still got quite a bit of bounce back. I basically just increased the values a lot since I assumed it would need more gains to help stabilize itself. Definitely is a very interesting flyer though. It's honestly not as bad as I was expecting. The, uh, these props definitely do help. The other ones did not perform as well as this. It's just too high of a load on the motor. And I still have yet to try the uh, HQ 4-inch V1S. Because even though this is meant for a 5-inch build that I planned it for, it might actually perform better on the 4-inch is a motor will have an easier time hopefully and hopefully you can tell it's pretty efficient I've been going for just three minutes now pretty aggressive line of sight and battery seems just fine this is a little 850 um, milliamp hour. I do have some 1000 4s's um, a lot better quality than these ones however they're about 50 grams heavier Yeah, it's not sagging too bad yet. <laughs> this sounds so weird. I'm not used to vibrates. <laughs> I 
All right, that's probably gonna just about do it for this battery. Let's bring it back in. Definitely does look very cool. Very interesting build. Damn, yeah, rocking some serious up tilt there. About 65 degrees for FPB. So there we go. That was the line of sight test. Let me check the motors. Motors are just barely warm. And actually, when I first, I'll tell you a little bit, when I first started flying this, um, like I said, I had the notch filters turned off with the dynamic on, and I was using other props, and the motors got very, very hot right away. And I did, like I said, I did end up smoking a motor, so I turned them back on, and it is like 20 degrees out, but it was then as well too. So definitely having the notch filters on helped, and the motors are back to very, very acceptable temperatures. So that's gonna bring us to the end of the video here. I will be doing another follow-up video with some FPV footage and sort of my thoughts on a build like this coming in probably about a week or so since I won't have any time to film it. But yeah, that was the end of the video. I'll leave links down below to the parts if you're interested as well as the full build tutorial I did for this. Please subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.